Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to the Perfect Podcast Show. Tonight, it's the Epic Gaming episode. And if you're not as excited about it as I am, then you're an absolute moron. I hate you. And now here's your host. It's Pikachu All Spark. Welcome to the Perfect Podcast Show. I am your host, the King of YouTube, Pikachu Allspark. So, uh, the podcast is back, and uh, this episode's kind of a different one. In this one, right now, I am playing a video game. You can't see it. You can't see it, because this is a podcast, but, hey, I'm doing it. Uh, what I'm what I'm playing is uh, WWE 2K Battlegrounds on the Nintendo Switch, uh, and I bought this game a few days ago. And I thought I would get to play as Alexa Bliss. You know, I I thought I could just do that from the start. No, it turns out turns out she's locked on this game, and uh, you have to play through like 80 different storyline things before you before you can unlock her. But I'm almost there. I got three more matches to play, and I'm going to do them all in one sitting right now, as I'm also doing this podcast, so, you know, a lot of me reacting to a game is going to be happening here, in addition to talking about stuff, stuff I would normally talk about on the podcast. Okay, so, and what is there? What do I talk about? Uh... This is the first episode of 2021, uh, and 2020 sure was an interesting year, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, the meme of 2020 is that it was the worst year ever, but... Eh, I don't know. I mean, 2020 was the year I got cable TV back, it was the year I got good internet again, it was the year I got a Nintendo Switch, you know, uh... A lot of good stuff happened to me in 2020. Plus, I made, like, I made legit, like, 80 videos on YouTube. I, I counted them the other night. Yeah, I made, like, 80 of them. Oh, fuck. No, don't hit me, bitch. Fuck. No. No, let me block. But anyways, yes, I made, like, 80 videos on YouTube. Oh, don't taunt me, you asshole. Yeah, a lot of video game reactions. Yeah. A lot of reacting to what's going on in front of me. I'm actually playing the Switch on the TV right now. Big guys TV, I'm, I'm sitting really close to the TV too. Oh yes, I, I got a reversal. I know there are people who probably think I shouldn't be sitting this close to the TV, but... I mean, fuck it, right? So yeah, 2020... It wasn't the worst thing I've ever... It wasn't the worst year for me. And I know a lot of people can't say that, so you know. Like, am I just supposed to give in to the meme? Am I supposed to be against the meme, you know? Oh, man. Reversing moves is so difficult in this game. It's always a different button, and I'm and my thumb is never on that button. Because yet, because when they knock you down, you have to press the B button to get back up. You, you have to repeatedly press the B button. So I'm always doing that when I get knocked down. So when they try to do a move on me, I'm never pressing the A, X, or Y buttons ever. So, yeah, that's, but anyways, yes, uh, so yeah, 2020, uh, you know, I, I was planning to do this big thing where I go throughout the entire year and maybe talk about some stuff that happened during it, you know, there was a lot of intense political things that happened in 2020, but then I got to thinking about something. You don't want to hear that from me. I'm not the intense political guy. I'm the fucking... I'm the Lego guy, you know? I'm the guy who makes Lego videos. Oh, you can't submit me, you asshole. Yeah, I, I make the Lego videos, you know? I, I'm i not... Fuck. I'm not... I'm not the guy to talk about subjects. Like what happened in 2020, which is... 
why you can see pretty much every video on my channel avoids these subjects. Uh, the only ones that mention them are in a completely and totally joking manner. The Talk Show Tonight videos, which I guess I could talk about those for a bit. Uh, I'm going to keep doing those. I I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to lose this match. And I lost the match, which means I have to play it again. Again, I have to play three matches, and I just lost the first one. I really fucking want to unlock Alexa Bliss, man. I really fucking want to unlock her. <laughs> like, it has been... Oh, man. It's been a long fucking week. Anyways. Back to what I'm talking about, uh... Talk show tonight videos. So, I've been a talk show watcher since way back. Since my childhood, in fact. And I know most kids aren't watching talk shows, but, you know, I was different. I watched the late night talk shows when I was a young, young wee little man. This fucking bitch is taunting me again. Take that. And that. And that. No, she blocked me. Oh, fuck, she blocked me. But anyways, yes, uh... And this is a CPU I'm fighting. Let's just be clear here. A fucking CPU is, is fucking raping me to shreds, you know? Like, what the fuck is that? Anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, my. Oh, yeah, talk show videos. So I've been a talk show watcher since way back. Uh, my favorite talk show host ever is Craig Ferguson. Because he was the funniest one to me. He, he's the one who did the most funny things. He's the one who took the show the least amount of seriousness. He was he was just absolutely fucking great. And I, I've talked about Craig Ferguson on here before. Uh, again, absolutely amazing talk show host. I wish he was still hosting a show today. It would be a million, a million years better than any of the current talk shows. Fucking, you, you see what fucking Trevor Noah's been doing lately? Like, man... That is just... Like, I've seen commercials for that since, you know, I have cable TV, and... I mean, I haven't laughed once, you know. And I'm pretty sure he's telling jokes. But, you know... They're not funny jokes, you know? Yeah. And I, I can say that, right? Like, there's no, like, hardcore Trevor Noah heads out there, right? Like... Like, him being pushed is just like a corporate thing, right? Because I, I do not see the appeal in this dude. I And I've seen a few episodes of his show. Not not recent ones, but, you know, back in 2015 when he first started doing it. I watched a few episodes and, you know, I, I can't remember what the show was like, but I don't know if I was into it or not. So I can't give you an opinion on something I've seen. Yeah, I don't retain that knowledge, you know. If 2015 I retain any knowledge, it's, uh, well, in early 2015 I went to a movie theater, my first ever movie theater experience, to see the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water. And I know you're probably thinking, you know, why didn't I see the old one back in 2004? Well, I was really young back then, didn't have cable TV, and I was incredibly poor. All of those things combined make it impossible to go to a movie theater, so... I didn't... I didn't go to a movie theater till 2015. <laughs> and to put that in perspective, I had already been alive for 16 years at that point. 17 as of September 2015. So... You know... I was just pressing Y, and then it was the reverse button, and I fucking... Heck. Anyways, yes, uh... So the talk show videos, I went on a tangent. Yeah, you, you can, you know, if you listen to this podcast, you know I, I'm the king of all tangents. Yeah, and top rope move. Fuck, I missed. Yeah, hit, hit, and big punch. Yes. Now I'm gonna try pinning her. One, two, fuck. I got her down for a two count, though. Fuck. Run. 
Haha, <laughs> yes, I ran from the big move. Anyways. So I started doing these talk show tonight videos, because most of the current talk show hosts are just utter and complete garbage. I still do like Conan O'Brien, though. You know, he's still cool. Oh, yes! One! Two! Three! I won the first match. Won the first match. It only took ten minutes. Huh. Thought it would have taken longer than that. But anyways, uh, yeah. This first match, winning it means I get a bunch of reward points. Uh, oh, I just reached a new level. I'm now level 22, whatever that means. And I got 1,750-somethings. They're these uh, currencies that you can that you can use to unlock characters and stuff. All the characters in this game can be unlocked for free, but if you want to pay to unlock them, you have that option too. And the free way is to is to play the game and to earn these points here. The paid version is using actual money. Anyways, back to the talk show videos before we get on to the next match here. Uh, I started doing the talk show videos because the... I mean, talk show hosts are just... They're just garbage these days, man. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a bit of storyline. Let me... Let me read this and I'll come back to you. Like, the, the, the story... The cutscenes in this game are just comic pages that you have to read, so... Let me get through this one, then I'll get back to doing the podcast. So yes, I just saw a bit of cutscene. Ooh, and now I get a reward from that. Let's see what it is. A new power-up. Yeah. So anyways, on to the next match. Oh, and more storyline. BRB, I guess. So, back to what I was saying. Yeah, talk shows are garbage these days. Uh, and... I feel like I keep saying that every few seconds, but... I mean, hey, it's worth saying, right? Like, you've seen the current state of talk shows. Uh, yeah, people like Stephen Colbert and... Who's the other one? Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. The two Jimmys. Uh, you know, Jimmys are, are, for some odd reason, a stereotype on the talk show scene these days, even though only two of them are named Jimmy, although... I mean, two's more than enough, I guess. Maybe there's a third or fourth Jimmy somewhere that we don't know about. I mean, I guess there is one with my talk show videos. Uh, yeah, I, I played into the Jimmy meme with with the naming of my character, uh, and this is a character that's been on my that's been on the Lego SpongeBob Adventures, making occasional appearances for a few years now. And I've always wanted to do a full talk show series. You know, I always felt like I could do it. I just kept putting it off, and and the videos themselves, as they are these days, they're meant to satirize the modern talk show, so, you know, the host is always saying political stuff. Uh, the monologues have to be, the monologues kind of have to have political stuff in them, but, you know, I, I joke about it, you know, I... I'm not trying to be serious. If you ever see me trying to send a serious political message, fucking take me behind the shed and shoot me. Like, honestly. <laughs> like, at that point... At that point, I will have no more reason to be creating content. I will be, I will have become another one of the assholes you see on Twitter with a political thing in their Twitter name, or the pronouns in their Twitter bios or something, you know. I will become a 100% douchebag dickhead, and I don't want to be that. So, you won't be getting a serious political message from me, but the talk show videos kind of have to have that political stuff in them, because, you know, talk shows are... If you watch a talk show, it's just 100% political these days, you know. One of the best things about Craig Ferguson is that, like, he, he was show wasn't all about politics, you know? His show was about him, it was about the characters on it, it was about the fucking interviews with the celebrities, you know? His show was actually a good talk show. Which is why I and so many other people are fans of him. Okay, so I've started the next match. 
And I'm getting my ass kicked here. Yes, I just did a reversal. So anyways, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna pin. Oh, I didn't win that. And I'm being sent into the ropes. Great. Anyways, uh... Yes! Reversal. Take this bitch. Ah, yes! Another reversal. I'm getting better at that. Run, 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 run. Yes. And she threw me down. Fuck the one where I had to press B to reverse it. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so you get the idea with the talk shows, you know. Make it fun of talk show hosts because they're dumb. That, that's what I'm doing. And one more thing about the talk shows is that I want to do those videos on a weekly basis because I want to have a Lego video every week. It's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, and the Lego SpongeBob Adventures, at this point in my YouTube career, I guess, I don't consider it a job, but, you know, I'll call it a career for the sake of this sentence. At this point in my YouTube career, it takes a lot of effort to do the Lego SpongeBob Adventures. Like, a lot of effort. I gotta make a whole ass cartoon. You know, it's. I gotta put a fuck ton of jokes in it. You know, the scripts are. It can get difficult to write a script for one of those these days. You know. Because I gotta make it funny. And. It can often be quite hard to make something funny. Anyways, you know, a lot of work gets put into it with the. The cartoons, the Lego video making itself, you know. I'll occasionally have to create a brand new set out of like construction paper and base plates or something. Did I just get counted out? I just got counted out after only five. Okay, so if you don't know about professional wrestling, uh, if you if a wrestler goes out of the ring, the referee starts counting. Usually in American matches, that's a 10 count, and I just got counted out after only 5. I just lost the match after only a 5 count. What was that? But anyways, yes, uh, weekly LEGO content is what I want the talk show videos to be, and I am going to get back to making them. I've just been having just trouble with the newest episode that I'm planning to bring out, because I shot it back in, like, September, and... Not September, uh, December. December's what I meant to say. Yeah, I shot it back then, and... The reason I'm having so much trouble is because I... You know, with that, with something like talk shows, you gotta put in current references, and... The current references keep fucking changing every week. So... You know, I, I really want to put out a product that's not dated when I release it. Did I just call my video a product? <laughs> Don't shoot me just yet, guys. <laughs> I, I realized my mistake in calling the video a product. But anyways, yes, I, I want to put out a video that's not dated right when I release it, so... How is this stupid fucking bitch... I can't get a single hit in. She's not even letting me get up. Like, she's just... Take this, you fat whore! And it's okay to say that. The wrestler I'm playing the match against is Nia Jax. She's actually fucking fat. Google her. But anyways. <laughs> yeah. That sentence is joking, just to be clear, you know, yeah. You should fat shame. <laughs> okay, I'm never gonna be able to... I'm always just gonna make jokes. Yeah. Again, never gonna be serious. Not on YouTube, I'm not. In real life, maybe, but YouTube is not a place you should be serious on. Although, there are several different types of videos you can make, I guess. Anyways, yeah, the, something about the talk shows. I'll figure it out. Take this, you bitch. I'm not here for you, Naya. <laughs> I'm here to unlock one character, one character only, and I've been waiting a fucking week to do it, so quit beating me! Yes! Now I'm gonna hit you with this motorcycle that I found under the ring. 
And she blocked it. She blocked a fucking motorcycle. That shouldn't be possible. <sighs> but anyways... I was saying something about the talk show videos. Lego videos every week. Uh, see, Lego videos every week. I think I lost it. I lost my train of thought. So, I guess I'll talk about other things. Uh, but basically, the thing of the talk show is uh, I can't do the Lego SpongeBob videos every week. Those are the videos I'll do every week. Gonna reference real world stuff, but it keeps getting dated. Not gonna seriously reference real world stuff, it's always gonna be jokingly. And I'm hoping to release the next one next week. It'll be a Squidward interview. A Squidward interview and uh, another guy with an ice cream cone bit. So. Watch that, and so recent things that I've done, uh, I've made some new LEGO videos, such as the LEGO SpongeBob Adventures episode 118, the Christmas episode, which is another birthday boy game show one. I'm not gonna win this match. Yeah, the Epic Gaming episode will be live until I unlock Alexa Bliss, so... We're 23 minutes in right now, I think. Let me be sure. Yeah, we're 23 minutes in right now. And, uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep talking, even if I keep losing this stupid fucking match, which I've already lost twice. Yeah. So I expect more talk show videos. That's basically the gist of things. Why does this bitch keep blocking me? Jeez. Uh, uh. So, yeah, like I said before, the character I'm wrestling right now is Nia Jax. Uh, if you don't know anything about her, uh, she's kind of known for being not so good of a wrestler and injuring her opponents. You know, this is the real life one I'm talking about. It's happened on multiple occasions. And, for some odd reason, you know, WWE never does anything about it. They just keep letting her do her, you know. Like, th there was an episode of Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago where she, like, dropped a girl on her head or something. It was, it was insane. Or was that a pay-per-view that happened on? I can't remember, it kind of all runs together at some point. When you watch as much of this stuff as I do on a weekly basis. Yeah, all the wrestling I watch on a weekly basis. It's uh, Monday Night Raw, NXT, SmackDown, Impact Wrestling, and AEW, so. Not both the AEW shows, just the one on TNT. I'm not gonna fucking watch their 20 match YouTube show. But yeah, all those shows I just named. Those are what I watch every week, so... You know, I, w I watch a lot of this stuff on a weekly basis. That's why it can all run together, I guess. But anyways, uh... Yeah. And I'm struggling to think of things to talk about. And I thought, I thought in my head about what I wanted to talk about before I... Like, a few hours ago. I've been planning this for hours now. You know, I had this brilliant idea to do the epic gaming episode. Quit blocking. Quit fucking throwing me into the turnbuckle, because you bitch. Hit. Hit. And hit. Yes. Oh, man. And leg drop. Now let's try to get a weapon from under the ring. So. More stuff to talk about. Uh, I made a few unboxing videos already this year. The big one, of course, was Spongebob Season 12, the unboxing video, which is probably my longest unboxing video yet, I think, at 27 minutes. You know, 
And I knew that video would get a lot of views. It's already got over 100 as of me recording this. Uh, my SpongeBob unboxings always get a lot of views, and I'm grateful for the people who view those. I, I mean, who's going to say fuck you to a lot of views, right? Nobody. So, but I do often hope that the people would, you know, stick around a bit, you know, see what my channel has to offer. I make a lot of videos that I put a lot of effort into, and while I did put a fair amount of effort into this unboxing video, you know, I went to Walmart to get the cold open scene, I turned on my old laptop to get the menu scene, uh, I did a fair amount of things I wouldn't normally do in an unboxing video, uh, I still don't consider it to be the most, you know, effort put into thing I do. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of good moves here. I need to, I need to build the energy to hit my finishing move, though. And there we go. So I grab her, and then I press these two buttons. And I'm hitting the finishing move. Hopefully after I pin her, I'll just win. Pin. Yes, I'm gonna win! One. Two. Three. One more match to go, people. One more match to go in the Epic Gaming episode. So yeah, so... Don't get me wrong, I still did like doing the... Spongebob Season 12 unboxing. Uh, I always like doing the Spongebob DVD unboxings. Uh, I think they're one of the best things I do. And it's a shame that they don't make more Spongebob DVDs... These days, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if they made another one since the... Season 11 release to the Season 12 release, so... I don't know. Also, this has been one of the fastest season releases ever. That sure is something. Uh, more storyline. Hold on a second. Okay, just did the storyline. Uh, one more match to go. One versus one. Me versus Alexa Bliss. And then it says reward afterwards. And hopefully that reward is unlocking Alexa Bliss. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I've got a good feeling. I swear, if it's not the case, I'm going to scream as loud as I can into this voice recorder that I'm doing this podcast on. I swear, I'm going to scream hard. So, yeah. But the Spongebob DVD unboxing is not the only unboxing video I've made this year. I also did the Tetris one, and I've got a few coming out in the next few weeks. There's another Spongebob themed one, there's a Power Rangers themed one, and also there's a Lego unboxing video as well. All have been filmed, all will be on my channel within the next three weeks. And then we'll see what happens after that, because I don't have anything filmed after that. So... We'll see. And that's kind of all I've been doing lately. But I am going to be doing more. Like I said, there's going to be unboxings, there's going to be the talk show videos, and this podcast is something I hope to make a part of my regular weekly rotation. I really want to do a podcast on a weekly basis. I honestly do. I think it would be nice to, nice to just talk for, on a weekly basis, you know. I should just sit down for 20 minutes and talk about something. This week it's obviously longer than 20 minutes because, you know, it's the Epic Gaming episode. I had to play three matches on this video game. I'm going into the... Going into this one more match. Going into it right now. Here we go. And the match has started. And I've taken her down. That was easy. Okay, maybe this won't be... Maybe she's not gonna okey-doke me. And I can easily just unlock her. Oh, she blocked something I was doing. And clothesline, yes! Okay, I suppose I should be talking about more than the game, but, you know, this is an important part of the game here, right? So, speaking of games, uh... Ah, oh, she's kicking me. Oh, that was a cool move. Anyways... Speaking of games, I do plan to do more gaming videos. 
Uh, most likely for PC. She's okie doking me. Most likely for PC games. Uh, I don't know if there would be like fully. When I say PC games, I mean games I can play on the PC, you know. Like if something's on an emulator, I will. I will be open to playing it. Oh, she just grabbed the bagpipes. Ah, ah, fuck. Oh, man. Anyways. Ah. ah she blocked me. Yes, uh. I do want to do more gaming videos. I did a lot of those in 2020 with the uh, Transformers series. And the Transformers series was something I'd been wanting to do on my channel for quite a while. Those Transformers Autobots, that was my first ever Nintendo DS game that I got back in 2008. Man, I think I'm going to win this match. I gotta say, I think I'm going to win. I'm doing very well against against Alexa. Fuck. And she German suplexed me. I've never seen Alexa Bliss do a German suplex in real life. I don't think she's ever even attempted to do one in real life. But she just did it to me. If you don't know what a German suplex is, uh, you know, Google it. It's this, it's this move where you throw your opponent behind behind your head. Usually they land on their back. Fuck. Okay, now I'm getting okie doked Now I'm getting fucking okie doked And, fuck, I was gonna hit my finishing move. No. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, dang, that looks so much cooler in this game than just in real life. You can't see the move she just did, but trust me, it was cool. Anyways. Let's try and see if I can do my finishing move here. Yes! I'm doing it. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? More gaming videos. Uh, I liked doing the Transformers ones. It was something I've been playing for years, and... Decepticons... Decepticons wasn't my second DS game, but I did get it in the year 2008. When I got Decepticons, that's an interesting story. Guess where I got it from? Y you might be guessing something along the lines of Walmart or Target or GameStop right now, right? Well, you'd be wrong in all those guesses. I got it from Circuit City. That's right, I got it from a Circuit City in 2008. Yeah. A lot of people watching this probably don't even know what Circuit City was. It was this technology store. And the stores all looked like these cool... The stores looked cool, trust me. Google them. I'm telling... And I just got beat. I just lost the match. So I gotta play it again. Again, we're playing till we, till we unlock this little bitch, so... You know... This podcast remains on. This could be the longest podcast I do. This year. Maybe. Depending on how many podcasts I do and how long they go. And if I ever get a co-host or not. That's something I want to do at some point, but... You know, it's gotta be somebody I already know. Gotta be a friend or something. I don't wanna just audition some random dickhead to be a co-host. That would... That wouldn't work out well, you know. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Now, before I was saying that, I was saying something. Fuck. Run, 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 run! Fuck! I know I was saying something. You see, if I get onto another subject, my mind fucking blanks out for some reason. I, I can not... F I legit can't think of what I was saying before. Just, I guess, you know, I got a lot of new videos coming, I guess, is the gist of things. I, I took 30 minutes just to say that. Yeah. Hit. Hit. And big hit. Yes. Now, let's...
let's throw her into the turnbuckle. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it anyway. Anyways. Okay, gonna hit my finishing move. It's been a few seconds into the match. I'm not gonna win like this. But I am gonna pin her afterwards. And pin. Just a one count. She fucking kicked out at one. And now I'm getting okie doked. So run, 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 run. Yes. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> I blocked something. Anyways, uh. Oh yeah, I was talking about the Transformers videos. That's what I was talking about. So, the way I filmed those was. I filmed for one hour a night and I filmed in blocks where I did four missions at once and I separated these blocks into two episodes each and I did this for like a week for each game so I played both games in a matter of like two weeks and then I had like six months worth of content I'm looking to do something similar to that for my next game series you know I want these to go pretty much for around that same amount from the summer to the winter and I don't know what game to play maybe something on an emulator you know I do have the PC version of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated so who knows I might try to see if I can play that game with the screen recorder going and not have anything crash that means not having the game crash not having the comp not having the screen recorder crash and not having the computer itself crash which this computer isn't the computer I have now isn't a very crashy one so that might not be the biggest issue And here we go. Boom. Big hit. Yes. Yeah, the computer crashing might not be a big issue for me, but who knows? And as of, I think, two weeks from now, February 26th, I will have had my laptop, my current one, for an entire year. Isn't that amazing? Come on, submit. Su yes, I did it. I won via submission. I won via submission. I did it. I fucking did it. Well, I don't think we have much left to do in the Epic Gaming episode. I did it. I get the reward points, which is, I think, somewhere around 400 something reward points. Oh no, wait, it was just 100 something? Oh, it was just 170. Oh. Well, yeah, I got 170 rewards points from that. Alright, so here it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot this next thing so you can see what I'm doing here. You know, maybe. Maybe you'll be able to see what I'm doing if I can get the screenshots onto my computer, so, uh... As you can see here, the check mark means I just beat her. And here we see the reward square. Let's press the A button and see what happens. And look at that! I fucking did it! I've been waiting since Saturday to do this. It is currently Friday at 5.50 a.m. I've waited like six days to unlock a character in this game that I wanted to fucking play as. And you know what? It's been worth the wait, man. I've, I've had a lot of fun playing this game. I truly have, and there's still some more storyline to go, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing throughout the next few days I guess there's not much storyline left to go actually uh actually I have to go through a whole nother area and then play Wrestlemania and that's the rest of the storyline but yeah I'm obviously not going to do that on this episode of the podcast who knows maybe maybe the next episode I'll do an epic gaming episode again but probably not now the next episode will probably be me without a video game going in my face so yeah 
I'll probably be more focused next week. Uh, I'll probably be more alert, more able to... I'll, I'll have a subject for the podcast. I want One of my favorite things about the weekly podcast I was doing in early 2020 is that I would often... Well, not I would often, but is that every week I tried to base them around a certain subject, and I, I want to do that again. I want to find a topic to talk about and just make that something I talk about for 20 minutes. Will I be able to do that? I don't know, but either way, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get this podcast out next week, and if I don't, you know, uh, well, you can consider me a disappointment to all of humanity. A lot of people probably already consider me a disappointment to all of humanity, but hey, that ain't my problem, right? Yeah, I don't know where this where this talking is. I've been talking for 40 fucking minutes. I don't have anything else to say, so let's just run through the bullet points real quickly, then I'll sign off. Uh, so new videos for me coming every week will be the Lego talk shows, unboxings, and um, what's the other thing? This, this right here, what I'm doing right now, podcasts. Uh, also, something I'm going to be doing on Wednesdays. Uh, I know I can't just fucking... I know unboxings aren't something I can do every single week, you know. I can't exactly find something to unbox every single week, so... You know, some weeks... Like, I'm going to be launching a new show that I'll talk about more in, in the coming podcast. And this show will alternate with the unboxing hour, hopefully. So... You know, every other Wednesday will be either one of these shows. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but I'm very excited for this new show. Uh, I got a really cool idea for the intro, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. So, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll see. But yes, those are the three videos I'll be doing on a weekly basis. Uh, on a week that I do an episode of the LEGO SpongeBob Adventures, there will be no LEGO talk show. It'll be... The Lego SpongeBob Adventures will take its place, and I plan to do a bunch of those this year too. Uh, the next one's going to be a big one, a big one I'm really excited about. Uh, and I'll see if I can get the. I think I want to try to get one more Lego set before I do that episode. I saw a Lego set in Target the other day when I was going to get this game, uh, and we'll just see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, I guess that's all I had to say this week. Uh, I shouldn't have talked for quite a while, huh? Yeah. So, uh, fuck high waisted pants. They fucking suck. Uh, what else do I say? You can follow me on Twitter at PikachuAllSpark. And until next week, all hail the king. <laughs> <laughs>